What's up? In this video, I'm going to give you my most important tip to get better at fishing. And it all centers around one thing. Fish a lot. And what do I mean by fish a lot? Mainly, I mean fish frequently. Go often. In this video, you'll see a bunch of examples of me fishing kind of all over the place, random quick stops here and there to prove the point that you gotta be fishing a lot, folks. If you were to say, Michael, I fish about every other month and I fish all day, so eight to 10 hour days, that would be a total of 60 hours a year. If on the other hand, you were to say, I go out once a week to the little creek, little pond near my house, the river nearby, and I go every week and to make it worth my time, I spend at least an hour or two. That's 100 hours. Already, by fishing more frequently, you're getting more hours on the water. And secondly, the frequency is there. You're improving every part of your game and technique from getting ready and getting prepped to fish to the feel of the rod in your hand. And if you go a month or two between picking up your fly rod, you're going to have to break all the same bad habits relearn all the same stuff you learned last time. So a buddy of mine does a really good job of this. He's learning to fly fish and um, he has a farm pond nearby and he takes his five or six weight out to that farm pond a lot to catch brim and bluegill. Um, and then on the weekends, he does a longer trip. On Saturday mornings, he gets up and he goes trout fishing for six or eight hours uh, in the mountains. And so he's getting that frequency in and I think that's huge. So along with fishing frequently, you gotta chase the elusive weekday fishing opportunity. If it's available, get out on a weekday. There's a bunch of reasons for that. One is less people are out on weekdays, and so uh, the fish haven't been as pressured. But also, again, just frequency, frequency. Fish locally. Um, the closer you find fishing opportunities to where you live, um, the more frequently you're gonna go fishing. And the more frequently you go fishing, the better you will get at fishing. Got him. Oh shit, lost him. Once you cut your teeth on all the hugely important but seemingly small things, going a bunch, the gear prep, the knot tying, fly selection, water reading, casting, um, you'll be ready to go spend those eight hour days with a friend, make trips out west, um, and make trips to the best water and fish, you know, somewhere for an epic trip with eight, 10 hour long days. Go it alone. Um, this is not often touted advice. You definitely wanna be careful and safe, but you gotta fish alone sometimes if you're trying to get high frequency trips in. If you're always just waiting on uh, your buddy that knows more about fishing to invite you, it's not gonna line up that frequently and you gotta go learn some stuff on your own and just get out there and fish on your own. Um, don't get into deep, unsafe waiting conditions. Don't be out too late at night on your own, stuff like that. But I fish a lot alone, a lot of guys I know do, and that goes hand in hand with this idea of fish frequently to get better. This one takes a bit of vulnerability on my part, I gotta say, because I do not do this one very well. Uh, be ready the night before you go fishing. Be prepared. Don't wait till the morning of and get out there really late. Um, but instead, get your stuff ready the night before, all packed up. Um, and like I said, thank you for letting my letting me share my my vulnerability. I'm not very good at this. Just this morning, I didn't leave my house probably till 10 a.m. Um, got here at like 11:30. So don't do like I do. Be ready the night before. All right, folks, so that is it. Fish frequently to get better. Um, if you like this video, I hope you would subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and we'll get you some more. All right, see ya.